Today I'm going to be showing you my delicious low carb granola recipe. Many people love a sweet breakfast, but unfortunately these are often loaded with sugar, which is not a great way to start the day. My recipe uses high protein nuts and seeds to create a delicious low carb granola the whole family will love. So to start, we're going to roughly chop a combination of nuts, which is going to form the base of our granola. We've got 100 grams of hazelnuts, 100 grams of macadamias, and 200 grams of raw almonds. We're going to chop that for one second, speed six. So now our nuts are all nicely chopped. We're just going to set those aside. We've got a few different textures in there, which is always nice in a granola. Now, no need to clean the Thermomix bowl at this point. What we're going to do is we're gonna add in a vanilla bean. Here I've simply halved a vanilla bean. This is gonna give a beautiful richness to our granola. You could substitute with a cinnamon stick. For the sweetness in this recipe, we're gonna be using 60 grams of xylitol. This is a low carb sweetener, so it's fantastic to use in low carb cooking and it tastes exactly like sugar, which is very convenient. We're gonna add in 60 grams here, but this is purely for personal preference. You could add more or less, or simply omit altogether. Now we're simply gonna mill our vanilla bean and our xylitol down for 20 seconds on speed nine. So what we've got here is a fantastic vanilla sweetening mix. You could also sprinkle this on yogurt for a delicious low carb alternative to flavors. To our vanilla, we are going to add 100 grams of virgin coconut oil. This is going to bind all the other ingredients together and allow our granola to toast in the oven. You could use butter or macadamia oil as alternatives. So now all we need to do is melt our coconut oil down. We're going to do that for three minutes, 100 degrees speed two. That's simply gonna melt our coconut oil, dissolve the xylitol into it, and means it's gonna evenly coat all our ingredients. If you live in a warm climate, this may only take one or two minutes, although if you live somewhere cooler, it may take a few minutes longer. So now our coconut oil is melted, we are going to add the rest of our ingredients, starting with our seeds. Here we've got 50 grams of pumpkin seeds, 50 grams of sunflower seeds, 30 grams of chia seeds, and 30 grams of sesame seeds. Next, we're going to add 50 grams of shredded coconut. This is optional, but adds a really nice flavor. And lastly, we've got our chopped nuts from step one. We're going to add those back into the Thermomix. So now that all our ingredients are in the Thermomix, we are simply going to mix them for 20 seconds, speed three, reverse speed. Very important to not forget the reverse. This is about combining the ingredients, not about chopping them. So now this is all combined, it is ready to go straight in the oven. So to toast this granola in the oven, we need two roasters or baking trays. Here I've got a non-stick roaster, which is gonna be fantastic for this recipe, or alternatively, a baking tray lined with a baking mat or baking paper is going to do a great job. Now, we're simply going to divide our granola mixture between our two trays. It's really important to divide it evenly because we want our granola to cook evenly. Spread your granola evenly across the trays as well, again, to make sure it cooks evenly. So now these are ready to go into the oven. Our granola is now ready to come out of the oven. As you can see, it's golden toasted and beautiful. Make sure to watch it just for the last couple of minutes because it will become golden very fast. This now needs to cool completely before we serve or store. Our granola has cooled completely and in that time it has become really crunchy and beautiful, just like a breakfast cereal, which is exactly how we're serving it this morning. Alternatively, you could use it sprinkled over yogurt with poached fruit or fresh fruit. Berries are a great low carb option. Or simply pop some in a container for a snack on the go.